Your Excellency, Dr. Alex Oti, Our Excellency, our sister, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. I wasn't here when it was established, but I know that it's been properly established. I'd like to thank God for the privilege I have to be here today. And actually for all of us who have had the opportunity to be here. It is a record that there certainly must have been more people who will have loved to be here, but who are not here today. So we remain grateful to God for the privilege you offered us. For me, it's particularly so because I didn't know what I was expecting when I was coming. But having listened to this very exhaustive, comprehensive address by Dr. B. Ezekwesli, former Minister of Education, former Minister of uh, uh, Solid Minerals, former founding uh, person that set up the due process in the federal government during President Obasanjo's reign, when I met her first. I want to thank God that I met, I came here to meet the speech. Because for me, this is a speech that addresses the key issues that we need to deal with. First in Nigeria and in sub-national like Abia. Many of us want Nigeria to be a first world nation because we've been in third world since we, most of us were born. Nigeria has been a third world, a developing, underdeveloped. The question is when are we going to be developed? When are we going to emerge like Singapore from a first world, from a third world to a first world? I think God B has given us the recipe today on how to move Abia from its stagnant state where it's been punching so much below its weight to a leader among, among states in Nigeria, which for me falls in line with the vision of the governor. He is interested in moving Abia from whatever state it is. Is it on the CPI, Corruption Perception Index? Is it on the quality of life? Is it on the ease of doing business? Whichever criterion or indices you look at, Abia is below where it ought to be. And Obi has told us today what we need to do. For me, most of those things are already known. It's a question of putting them in the right perspective and putting the right priority to them. I think that's what she has done. From what we need to do from the economic point to the social point, to the human resource, and to the quality of the human capital. She's told us how to deal with issues of poverty, issues of corruption, issues of injustice, and issue of unemployment and the other vicissitudes we face in our country. Abia State has no place in being regarded as one of the country, uh, states with low internal generation, low subnational GDP, low per capita income. Ibia State shouldn't be there. Low quality of human life. Those things are not what we ought to be. And I'm glad that the governor and those who arranged this lecture looked for a good person who does not only have the experience, she has the vision, she also has the practice. I've heard Obi speak before. When you listen to Obegeli, listen to Pato Tommy, listen to a couple of people, listen to Pito B, what you hear is the same message. How do we move Nigeria? How do we move Abia State? How do we move Southeast from this current situation that we have been for a long time into where we ought to be? Ladies and gentlemen, can you join me in giving a clap offering again to this lady? for the beautiful speech. 
So, Obi, if you are seeing me, if you are seeing us, I want to say on behalf of the good people of Ibia State here gathered today, and our friends and other lovers of Ibia State who have invested hope in Dr. Lex Oti, who have hoped that someday they will have a governor that can set up a government that will be inclusive, that will look for talent and harmonize and harness the potentials of Abia. All those people are looking forward with a lot of expectation that Dr. Alex Oti will achieve that vision and at, for the first time be able to raise the hope that what is doable anywhere in the world is doable in Nigeria. That we are not of less intellectual endowment. Now we are of less quality in structure or construction. But that we, for reasons that are too obvious, and which I will not waste my time and waste your time, we've not been able to move to that point. This is where we are, and I'm sure with this speech, Abia is ready to move to that stage. Thank you, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Obi. God bless you. Thank you.